hello fam it's your boy papa jango in the house and i'm back with a big banger tutorial for you guys so over two months ago someone requested that i build a clone of Udemy using Django and I asked of the stack and the, uh, the person asked which is Dev Ka uh, Kamal asked that I use Next.js and Django so if you don't know what Next.js is Next.js is a react framework okay so that is exactly what I did I built the clone of Udemy using a Django REST framework and a Next.js application all right so before i preview it so let me let me let me get, just give you a flash of it this is it so if you don't know before i preview it let me show you what udemy if, is if you have not seen it before okay so this is udemy sorry uh -huh. so this is udemy this is how udemy looks like the original udemy right a lot of courses so that's huge okay so look at the footer and stuff so this is the original udemy okay so let me go to the one that i built using django and rest framework uh, the django and next uh, next js okay so this is my version of udemy so you can see you have some some sections over here you can choose python javascript or uh, or machine learning so whichever one you choose you can have courses based on that one so let me see let me choose javascript okay so when i chose javascript you can see how fast it, you see it didn't reload because it's using react it's a it's a react framework so that's why it's that fast okay a single page application so you see you have course still tailored for vue.js uh, for javascript i can do same for machine learning see the same thing happens over here so very cool so this is the courses that are in the system at the moment okay so we can also uh, search through the courses using the categories these are the categories that are available at the moment javascript machine learning and other stuff and these are normal design patterns okay so this is it before i go uh, so let's continue okay let's continue so you can see the detail of a particular course by clicking on it you click on it then you see it won't reload so just push you to that place all right so this is, a, this is the detail page all right so the detail page has some functions so you can if there were any comments made on the particular course you see it here or the course that you are viewing the details you see it over here the description over here and the courses, uh, the length of the video and the number of sessions that are inside the video. So this course has two sessions. So you can toggle it down. So a session, this session has just one video. It can have as, as many as possible uh, videos under one session. Okay, so there's no restrictions. This one also has one session. And the time is 30 seconds. That just dummy placeholder videos. I just place there. Okay. So for the storage, I'm using Cloudinary cloudinary to store my uh to store my files or to store my media files okay so we can add to cart you can add a course to cart so let me add this one i add it i get a beautiful notification here and i'm using react toast toastify for that so i can make it go away okay so you can see i have finder over here and log out okay so i've gone ahead authentication system works perfectly everything works it works like <laughs> in ghana or in africa i say jelly. okay so everything is working perfectly okay so when i click on my name over here where is finder it will send me to a user and it's going to show me the courses that i have so at the moment i have no courses okay i have no course so i added an item to the cart so you see that's why i had i have this notification this rating over here if i go into the cart okay then i remove this item you see it goes away and it gives me a notification so that is it let me go back and add it to the cart again then let's um let's let's and before you go and do the checkout i want to show you something cool over here i implemented the search sessions 
So whether you use this one or use this one, they say they, they, it's the same thing. So we can search for a particular a particular course, let's say Python or a particular term, any search term, then we hit enter. Give it a few seconds, it's going to give us a search. Okay, so the search is going to be based on the the name over here, uh, the title of the course and the description. So anything that is relating to Python, if it has the it matches the term, it is going to pull it up. Okay, so the search functionality works perfectly. And let's go, let's go to the uh, detail and let's add it to the cart again. So let's add it. So you see, I add it to the cart. I get this notification over here quickly. So back to the cart. Few seconds. It's going to. It's contacting the API. That's why it's the API is hosted on uh, the API is the Django REST framework. is hosted on Heroku and the front end, which is the Next.js uh, Next.js application, hosted on Vesto, as you can see over here. All right. So now I want to purchase a course. Okay. So I hit here. It said please wait. So it I wait a little bit. Okay. So you can see it says it's redirecting us to the payment page okay so a few seconds and you are going to stripe are using the best <laughs> the best so far that i know <laughs> the best payment method i know is stripe so and the application too is going to be i, I want it i don't want it to be africa based it's so like i would have used paystack which is a subsidiary of uh of uh, of stripe of stripe <laughs> okay so let's use any anything over here and for uh, for testing we use the test card that stripe gives us so four two four two four two four two oh sorry this card is invalid four two four four two okay so that's it then let's add those 25 548 okay then let's go ahead and purchase so you can see that when you come here you can see you have the course that you are trying to purchase it's the 20, 20 2021 complete python bootcamp with Oshie dev okay so you can choose you can purchase multiple course at the same time i'm just using one for uh, experimental basis okay so click on pay okay so it's going to handle the payment and it's going to send a webhook to our back end which is hosted on heroku when it is done it is going to redirect us to our front end application okay all right so give it a few seconds and everything is going to load back okay so now we are back to our front end okay so now let's go back to this place so previously when when we went there there was no course in it okay so let's go back there so now it says one give it a few seconds then it pulls that data from the back end so you see we have one course over here so now we have a course we want to watch the video that are entailed in that course then we just click on the video or on the course sorry give it a few seconds then it goes there you can see this is it this is the video <laughs> so you can watch the video this is the, the first video is what is playing which is this one the course in, introduction to the course this video so you can change it to the course uh, course overview by clicking on it so click on it give it a few seconds so you see it changes it beautiful everything works like almost at the same as you demi i really took my time broke down <laughs> i don't want to brag but i have to brag i i took my time and got as close as possible as i could get to the original udemy uh, udemy okay so this is it so you can see <laughs> someone has already added uh, the, uh what's the name comments to this this one to the course okay that's cool <laughs> i gave it out to some friends to try it and you can see that i've left out their comments over here and you see it's it's almost the same so let me leave my comments here best comments uh, best course ever best course ever oh what did i just feel i'm so happy <laughs> oh it was fun building this project 
so with a few seconds then we get a notification beautiful comment added then it's, you see it's added over here all right and you see we get this this things auto uh, generated for the front and the colors over here <laughs> okay this cause this project was very fun guys if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing if you are, you, are, you are already subscribed to the channel please click the like button comment in the comment section because i'm now about to record the the videos for for this uh, project and it is going to be great if if you are new to the channel please turn on your notification because if you miss an episode of this course you will, you will be missing a very good thing in your life because it's it has never been done never in the history of youtube have you seen ever, anyone but a udemy clone as close to udemy as i have done so like comment and subscribe to the channel okay guys so i just want a few a, a few feedbacks either i should record all the videos together as one then release it together that one is going to be very tedious and it's going to take a lot of time and also either i should do it in episodes like in series so i have one two three then i'll release it in let's say i could release them in three days three days because i'm about to start the recording and that, that one's also going to favor my uh, working time because i'm very busy at work these days so please subscribe to the channel just turn on your notifications and leave a comment in the comment section let others know about it you can share it to your friends and other uh, other, other colleagues to say that they they know about the <laughs> this big thing that is about to happen on the happen in the history of youtube and okay so it's 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 really a good for you and the fun thing is that it is it is really responsive so you can see over here are you still win before i go i go any further I used tailwind for the styling so you can see this thing over here it's, it's also responsive to us well all right so let me open up all right so cool so cool so cool guys you if you miss even one episode you'll be missing a lot of things so let's search for let's search for something let's see the view You see it's what it pull up courses on terms view you see then it gives us this thing okay so you can see it has add to course uh, add to cart because you don't own this course yet so let's let me go back the course that you bought was the the bootcamp okay so let's go and see whether when you go to the detail of the course that you have already purchased it is going to send you to you see here instead of having the add to cut it says start studying a start learning all right so when you click here it's going to take you to the uh, the study page where you can watch the videos all right so this is it so this is just an introduction to the the next project that you are coming to build it's a next js with a django rest framework back end all right a killer, a killer combination i really love this project and it's it took me it took me a, a little over two weeks to build this project and it's it was fun building it i learned a lot of things building it and it is almost my first project or my first us project with react or with next year so you can you can imagine how it went but it was fun i really loved it so so guys that is all about this this video i'm just trying to preview the course that is about i'm about to release so it's a udemy clone using django rest framework and a next.js front end okay so if you are new to the channel as usual subscribe if you are already on the channel please leave a like comment in the description uh, comment in the comment section below it's going to really help with the youtube algorithm okay guys so until then watch out turn on the, the notification button uh, the notification bell so that when i when i leave a, an episode you see it quickly or when i release all the the whole project video you can you have access to it so 
make sure you subscribe turn on the notification all right until then see you bye